I think I'm back. Third time's the charm, hopefully. So I'm gonna start over on a fresh start just because the internet has been a little touch and go. But what we're doing today is the Sephora haul. Just a little bit of stuff that I picked up from Sephora at the last bit of the sale. And I also wanna smell some perfume. And I know a lot of you all were already here. So I'm just doing, you know, the two things that I just talked about in the last live that wasn't able to work out <laughs> just in case somebody's watching this on replay. Okay, so to recap, um, not to recap, because I don't know what I did with my stuff. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So thank y'all again for coming back over and over again, because this is very, you know, it's very frustrating, but you know, technical difficulties. I had to call my tech team to get on it. Hopefully it's fixed. Okay, so again, I got the Dyson Air Wrap mini brush or small brush just because I felt like I needed to have it to get closer to my roots. I know not everybody feels like it's a necessity, but I really feel like it'll make a difference with me being able to be a little bit more precise. Okay, so I grabbed that. And where we last left off. Oh, y'all are still over there. Okay. Um, and where we last left off was this candle, the Otherland candle. Okay, so I got this because it's purple, as many of you all guessed. Hey, y'all. Um, as many of y'all guessed. But honestly, this candle smells too much like real flowers. So if you like the smell of real flowers, real lilac, that's it. You got kicked out of the last live. I uh, ended it. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for coming back. Thank Hey. Thank y'all for coming back. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. If the last live is still going on, let me go over there and tell everybody to make their way to this party. You didn't get a notification? Probably because YouTube is like, you're doing the most, sweetie. You're doing the most. And it's like, YouTube is not even my fault. Okay. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, so are y'all coming over here? <laughs> I should go ahead and wash my hair because I washed and styled my hair against my own will. Now, who made you? Dang. Okay. I want to make sure everybody's not just sitting over there waiting on me to come back. Because, honey, things are a bit complicated when it comes to technology. Technology will not keep us down. And I know that there are some people not knowing that I am on live right now. Ugh. How can I tell people? How can I tell the people that I'm on live? Because so uh, YouTube is probably like babes. I've already notified 17 times. I'm not going to be able to keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Let me just move on. And hopefully everybody finds me because I don't see how to contact everybody because I ended the other one. Because I didn't want to have like this big old blank time, you know? Thank you, Ashley. So sweet. They still over there. Did y'all send them a message and tell them we're over here? Yeah, please do it. Put out an Instagram, put on an Instagram post. Okay. Let me do that really quickly. Let me do that. Let me do that. Okay. See, when I come on, when I come on Instagram, it's so easy to get distracted because I almost started scrolling and I forgot I was on live. Let me get my life together. Ooh. Okay. Because I keep getting distracted. Look at this, y'all. New dress by Dior. This was just on my explore page. I feel like I need to try that. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? Y'all tell me to make a post. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait. Now it's been skipped me. 
to the Behind the Beauty Instagram. Okay. Hey, y'all, I'm on live right now. If you want to come join me on my YouTube page. Okay. I don't have the link. They'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I grabbed a re-up of my lash glue, which is the Velour Lash Glue. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lash adhesives just because it's so sticky. And I love love the way that it just instantly gets sticky. I don't have to spend too much time waving and doing all of that. I don't have time for that. So this one is the one that I go for and it's clear. So you're not going to mess it up. So even the people who are lash, um, you're allergic to eyelashes <laughs> and you're like, I can't do it. You can do that. All right. You can do that. Ugh. I said I was going to be an overachiever today and complete as many tests as possible. So your time is free enough for Mortal Kombat. Yes. I love days when I'm an overachiever and I get so much stuff done because it makes me feel so good. Today, I got a lot of stuff done. Like I woke up at 530 just because I could not go to sleep. I could not stay asleep because I kept thinking about all the stuff that I had to do. And I got maybe like half of it done, but I'm okay with that because I can do more stuff Monday. You can't go back. It's weird. I hate that. Hopefully people know though. Um, just the same stuff we're already talking about, that Dyson uh, air wrap attachment and the candle. Yep, it does. It does. Thank you, Ashley. All right. Yes. Yes. Harris has extra stuff, y'all. Harris is having a 10% off sale right now. And Dawn told me about it. Dawn, this is the Dawn that tells me like all the stuff. And I appreciate you, Dawn. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I want to get some more stuff, but also I need to like. Okay. So I also grabbed this, another Marc Jacobs pencil. I got the shade Grapevine, which is a purple. It's like a dark purple. Cause I love these. And I know somebody asked me like, have any of mine ever dried out before? And they have. But I just feel like I'm able to use the majority of it before it gets to that point. I always make sure to press it down really tight. But they're so creamy and they're basically waterproof. They don't move. And that's what I love so much about these Marc Jacobs eyeliners. And then they had them for uh, like a half off or something like that during the sale. Plus, you can use your 20% off. So they're like $18. So I was like, I just needed, I just needed to get it. And I hope they don't discontinue them. Um, I also got a re-up of my La Mer cleanser. This one is the cleansing foam. And I really like this one because you just need a very little amount. You put it on your face and it just feels like you're at a spa somewhere. La Mer is a brand that I love so much. La Mer used to follow me on Instagram, but they unfollowed me. I'm like, follow me back. <laughs> But I love their skincare. I know it's not for everybody just because it's kind of expensive, but I just like it. I like the sensation of it. I like the effects that I get. I just feel like it works. So I love that. Yes, that eyelash glue is the bomb. Wait, you ordered a backup of what? The cleanser? <laughs> um, And then... I got these two products, which my mama bought me these. And so I was on the phone with her when I was checking out. She was like, I'll buy them for my little girl. I was like, you wish. So she got me these. These are the Baby Cheeks Blush Sticks from Western Atelier. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying I love these. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay. You know what? If you get it from Harrods, though, I mean, not Harrods, Selfridges. Their prices are comparable to how much you would get off from Sephora during the sale. So it's like it's not a rush if you have that subscription. Literally, follow me back. Quit playing with me. <laughs> but I mean, I love these. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm so sorry, y'all. I meant to get my Westman Atelier video up during the actual sale, but I just finished editing it because it just was so long because I bought so much. So I'm trying to figure out what day I want to post it. I know y'all still want to see it because I already have it done. So I'm going to show y'all 
the thumbnail. The thumbnail. The full face of Westman Atelier. Okay, so I have to figure out when I'm going to post it. I know y'all want to see it, but I have so much other content to post to. So I have to just figure it out. But anyways, I just go, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all I love these blush sticks so much that I bought two more. Look at this. This one is Minette. It's such a beautiful coral. Oh my gosh. I have not touched them. I do want to take pictures of them before I touch and ruin them. But y'all, as soon as I put my hands on Westman Atelier, I was like, this is luxury. Because I was looking at it on the pictures and I did, I did not get it. Westman Atelier is 100% something that you just have to experience in person. Hey, Melissa. They're just so nice. I mean, I don't even feel like you got to do the most. They're just so nice. And then, y'all, me and uh, me and Chelsea were cracking up at doo-doo. <laughs> so I bought doo-doo. So I'm going to be putting doo-doo on my face. And it's going to be fabulous. So I cannot wait to have these. I really want to get Poppy, but it was sold out on Sephora. So I probably will get it sometime or another it's that bright pink one and i know y'all are probably like really you want that bright pink yes i need that i need that for spring summer for the 99 2000 hey i'm good thank you so much <laughs> hey valencia thank you sharon my blue queen i'm fabulous how are you she probably ain't even talking to me <laughs> Because y'all talk to each other and not just be interjecting in y'all's conversations. I need to mind my business. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So I bought this one. I actually just bought this today. So this was not a part of the event and I did not save anything on it. But this is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. It says it's lightweight. It's smoothing. It has aloe. It has mastic and squalene. Hmm. I almost read that it's magic. I'm like, wait a minute. It has magic in it? <laughs> So this is the shade that I got. It is Maraca. And I feel like this looks pretty close. It has just a touch of redness to it. But we'll see how I feel about how it looks on the skin. Have you all ever tried anything from Ilya? I know Chelsea uses a lot of their stuff. So I wanted to give it something a shot. I kind of walked over there. And then they had a sales rep there. She was kind of like selling me on it. I was letting her do it. So I was like, all right. I, you know, so I went ahead and I got it. And because I don't take a long time to sell to, it's like if I wasn't already interested in buying it, then you're not going to talk me into buying it. But I already have to halfway have an interest there. And then they think I'm an easy sale after that. They're like, oh, that was easy. Let me show you something else. I'm like, uh uh. What you didn't know is that I already was thinking about buying that. <laughs> All right. So then I grabbed these two things. And I just have to tell you. But this is some of my favorite things, period. Like, I am so into liquid and cream illuminators and contours and blushes as, is, like, everyone else in the makeup community because everybody keeps on releasing stuff. But I don't know if these products have been around from Sharshar. I call Charlotte Tilbury Sharshar. Not to her face or anything like that, but, like, when we're, like, hanging out right now all live, I call her Sharshar. <laughs> But I really have been enjoying this contour wand. Granted, I've only used it twice, but the two times I've used it, I was like, Shar Shar, you're doing a little something. Some. This one is the deep one. But this was kind of hard to get because apparently all of Charlotte's like cream stuff and this liquid stuff has been sold out and going in and out because it's being manufactured and created in Italy. And you know, with everything going on, it's just been really difficult. Me too, make it magical and you got me. <laughs> oh, you love it, okay, awesome. Let it dry first before putting on any makeup. Okay, cool, thank you for the tip. And it's another one, the other serum one. The What tripped me out about the serum one was when you applied it, like two seconds later, it was a different color. So that like, I was like, that's kind of trippy. Thank you so much for doing that work. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. You don't need it, but it is a nice powder. 
And I almost, let me tell y'all, today Charlotte Tilbury is doing 15% off on her website. Plus, if you spend over a certain amount, I believe you get a free magic screen. And I meant to advertise, I mean, not advertise, but like tell y'all about it and like post it on my stories or post it on Instagram or something like that. But sometimes I just don't want y'all to get overwhelmed with sales and I don't want y'all to feel like I'm like pushing sales on you. I just want to make sure that you know what's coming out, what's on sale, what's going on, not that you have to shop all of it. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, if you do shop through my links, I do receive a small commission there. It's nothing crazy, but when a lot of you all do it, it does make a difference. But this contour wand popping, and this right here, that's like, ma'am, that's like my favorite thing in life. So I love them. <laughs> they are amazing. I want the pillow talk ones. Actually, oh. Yes, they have been around for a while. I've had them on my wish list for a while. I have the gold one, Goldgasm. I got that one from Beauty Lich. They, they sent it to me. And I'm like, yes, so thank you. But I want all the other ones too. Like all of them are beautiful. The only one that I probably don't need. No, I swatched the pink one. I need that one too. I need all of them. They're, they're literally gorgeous products. I should have known. It's like I love TikTok for doing for putting people on and doing stuff. But also it's like y'all are making it hard out here. But also it's like, do I need to go on TikTok? Do I need to do TikTok? Like is TikTok like I don't know. It's like I go back and forth. I have a TikTok. Y'all can follow me on there. I haven't posted a thing. I made it like when it was like basically new. It was in its infancy. Okay. Thank you, Dawn. Don't be on it. When I say you are a beauty news reporter, uh, Sharp has so many amazing things. I would say I love these. Any of her powders are good. So the bronzer, the under eye setting powder. I did not love the loose setting powder simply because I did not like the scent, but I have heard that they have since like kind of toned that down. So I need to retry that. Ooh, do I have an I do, I do. I can drop that down in the description box. Thank you so much. Mm. I'm gonna have to try it though because Michelle's skin is really dry and my skin is combo. Yes, I've tried the new Huda Beauty Foundation on G. It's so thick. Okay, I know it's very thick. You have to go in with a very, very little bit. You gotta prep your skin. All right. <sighs> It's so hard out here. Sharon, get on TikTok and do your blue hair. You will go viral, my girl. Yes. All right. Yes. The code is it's her niece's name. Don't ask me questions like this and make me think. <laughs> okay, so wait. It's not Sophia. That's her niece. Then Caroline. That's the code. That's the code. All right. All right. So let me get back to this haul. I'm going to drop the link down there. So if y'all shop through my link, like y'all have helped me get all of these sponsorships that I've gotten. The one with Charlotte, the one with Pat, the ones with Sephora. It's because of y'all. So thank y'all. All right. And then I got this. This one is a Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly or Jelly. No, it's jelly because it's jelly because jam don't shake like that. I got the one in the shade oat, and I have it on right now. You know, Chanel, oh, you know what? You might be in luck because Chanel is inside of Macy's. And whenever Macy's does those 15% off sales, like they have one going on right now, Chanel is not on the website, but I have in the past gone to Macy's or either called and ordered from Macy's, and they've been able to get 15% off. So you might not be able to order it, from directly from Chanel, but if you call the Chanel counter, I bet you they can get you that 15% off from Macy's, a Chanel counter in Macy's. Let me know. I know last time they had that 15% off family and friends thing, it did that. Y'all want the link right now? Y'all trying to shop right now? Y'all be ready. Y'all be spending y'all money. Y'all love makeup. I love that. Caroline, yep. Yep, that's right. I will. Dang. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
How can I do it? Oh, I know. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me type it in here. Because I, I know, I should have known y'all really don't be playing. Y'all really are serious out here. <laughs> okay. YouTube Sucho. Let me go here. Let me see if I can update the description box so y'all can shop along as you all watch because y'all don't play. Okay, so let me do Charlotte. Okay. I almost bought this limited edition flawless setting spray from Charlotte, but I did not get it because that one didn't work with the 15% off. And then I was like, okay, I almost got some more of the airbrush flawless powders, but I'm not even done with my other powder. And it was only 15% off. So I was like, that can wait. Cause I didn't even get it when from Sephora and I could have gotten 20% off. So I'm like, I can wait. I'm just out here just buying stuff cause it's on sale. Not that I won't use it. It's just, I, I'm like, no, not right now. All right, and then I'm gonna drop Sephora. Let me know, do y'all see this in the description box? If you don't, then you might have to um, refresh the video. I'll still be here. You just log out, log back in. And then, but hold on, I haven't done it yet, y'all, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna tell y'all when I do it. Okay, I did it. Let me know if y'all want me to update anything else. All right, so now, I think that's it. That is it for my Sephora haul. I love all of that little stuff that I got. I feel like I did a good job on the very last cart, not spazzing out, because I definitely had $300 in my cart when I was on live last time, which could have easily turned into $6,700, because it's always something to buy, especially if you're just buying because it's like, oh my gosh, it's about to stop. You know? So I just backed up. I backed up, because there's other stuff that I have. I want other stuff. Y'all have been buying other stuff. I have a luxury accessory haul coming up. Y'all are going to die. <laughs> and then I have a luxury fragrance haul coming up. Y'all are also going to die. And once y'all see those, then you'll know, like, okay, that's why you didn't go any further hand than I already have on Sephora. But anywho, oh, yes, you can see the candle again. Boom. This is it. It is called Purple Petals by Otherland. And they have this at both Nordstrom as well as Sephora. That's it. Yes, and the code for Charlotte Tilbury is Caroline. Ooh, which brush? Tell us, Ashley. Tell us. Wow. I love that y'all love to shop like that because I'm a natural born shopper. <laughs> like, I like to shop. I was born shopping. My grandmama loves to shop. And I just got it honestly. She loves luxury stuff. Back in the day, I would go with her. She would go, I would take, she would take me. I was about to say, I would take her. No, she would take me. <laughs> she would take me with her and we would have the best time. And it was so funny because all the little kids used to have like play, clo play clothes. And it was always a joke. When I was growing up, that I didn't even have play clothes because my grandmother treated me like a doll. So every day she would literally dress me up like a doll <laughs> and i would have photo shoots every day this is back in the 90s when people were not doing that like you know nowadays it's pretty commonplace because instagram but that was not a thing in the 90s and that's what my grandmama was on so ma'am <laughs> what is in your cart what is in your cart Ooh. you need oh first of all the kazans is that how you pronounce it? The KZ1 Kazan brushes from Chica Hoto. I don't know what they're doing with them. They are discontinuing or they cannot keep up with the supply and demand. But if you can get your hands on any of the Kazan brushes, life-changing. I have the entire set real quick because I'm getting off top topic because that's what happens because, you know, I love coming up here and chatting with y'all. I love, love it, love it, love it. I just dropped one. Dang. Okay, pretend like I have all of them in my hand, y'all. But I just dropped one. But these are my favorite brushes. They are up there with Sonia. They are just 
they're everything. They are magnificent brushes. They are made out of squirrel hair. I love the wooden handle. I love wooden handles. I didn't know that I loved wooden handles, but apparently I do, like just judging off of my collection. But honey, these are, but if you can get your hands on these, because I think they're going away, then do it. I honestly want to get another set of them. That's how much I love them as well. All right, so let's get into this fragrance, y'all. Your mother realized she doesn't realize your love for a bougie started with her purchasing you purchasing you a hundred dollar shirt shoe. It, it, it had to start somewhere. You know I'm an enabler, so I'm an enable all all all. I'm like the worst person to ask if you should buy something. Mel will tell you. She'll be like, Kelsey will tell you to buy it. No, but I really only tell you to buy good stuff. But dang. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. They are coming back, but they're selling out and then they don't know the plan. Yeah. Oh, that's where we're at with these brushes. That's what we're doing. Dang, Ashley, I didn't know. You know, okay, wait a minute. Before you go down like that, I don't know what all you want to get from them, but hold on real quick. Um, who are these people? Hold on. I didn't know that it had gone to this point with that. Wait a second. Okay, hold on. Because I feel like you still have a chance to get it from Food A Beauty. Uh, okay. So, real quick. This is what I have in my email from them. This is from Food A Beauty. Can you all see that? Probably. Okay. It says the KZ1 and the KZ3 is not currently available. The restock, the restock date is not yet confirmed, which means it's probably coming back. Then the KZ2 is available, but stock is very limited, so it's probably gone. The KZ4, KZ7, and KZ8 are currently available. The KZ5 and the KZ6. Dang! Because I was like, I just, I just thought about that just now. I'm like, I don't remember spending $300 on that brush. But then, you know, you know how it goes when you're just buying something real fast. I was like, maybe I did spend $300 on that brush. So which one is the KZ1? This one is it. Oh, so beautiful. Oh. These are better than the uh, the other the, any of the other ones. These are superior. Dang. Let's see. Yeah, KZ01 powder brush. And then this one is three. Let me put them in order. Two. Three. I dropped one over there. Four, five, I bet you that's six on the floor. It is. Six is on the floor. That's seven. Y'all, I love them. Dang. Okay. When they come back in stock, I'm going I'm to keep y'all posted because I didn't know I didn't know it was getting serious like that with those. All right. Let's get into these fragrances. So I have two different sets. I have one set that was sent to me from this company called Twisted Lily, which is a fragrance boutique. And they have so many fragrances on their website. So they reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to receive one of their fragrances from their website. And I was like, uh, can I pick which one I want? And they were like, yes. So I did. And I'm going to talk about that more in my fragrance video. Excuse me, but she also offered to send me some samples of some of the fragrances on the website because you know a lot of these are niche fragrances. I don't really have anywhere to go and sm smell them or anything like that. So I definitely took her up on her offer. And I don't know if y'all know this about me or not, but I really don't love samples. And I know I probably am in the very small minority of people who don't like samples. For me, I rather try it by buying it. And then if I don't like it, then I'll just give it to my mama or my sister or my cousin. I know, I know. But I love fragrance samples. Now that I will take a sample of, 
and I will take a sample of uh, mascara. Other than that, it's like I feel like I can't test it good enough, and I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I'm drinking water, y'all. Chica Hono does not have a direct website, but you can buy it from foodaybeauty.com or you can buy it from the other website that I was just telling you about. Dang. Y'all want me to link that down below too? Because Food Aid Beauty has a reward program. It's not an affiliate program, so all y'all can join it if you want to, which basically is like if you make a purchase, then whoever's link you make a purchase through, you get like $20. So it's like if you have friends, everybody can get $20. <laughs> yeah, I have a mixed feeling about it. It has to be a really nice size sample for me to like care. Because I mean, it's like, ugh, I don't care. Like if I'm at the store and they're like, here's some sample of orange, ugh, I don't want it because it's like, I'm not even gonna use it. All right. Yeah, I like fragrance samples. Now, I will take that. All right, so let me tell you the ones that I got from here. Also, I have a code on their website. I don't know the code right now, but I can tell y'all the code if you decide to purchase anything from their website. But everything is 100% legitimate. They are a boutique, so they have really, really different and unique type scents. So I want to smell them with y'all. So I have not even heard of some of this stuff. She just sold me random stuff. I mean, I sold it, but sent me random stuff that I didn't know what was going to be in the box. So this one is Remarkable People. It says it's made in France. And then it says something in French. And then at the end, it says orange. <laughs> so let me see. Oh, no, Sharon, don't worry. It takes a long time. <laughs> All of this stuff takes a long time. I'm going to be honest. Whenever y'all make a purchase through like my affiliate links, the ones that we all use, it takes like six months for us to get that. So it's like, if you make a purchase today, then it'll take about six months for it to clear and then they'll give it to us. Because if anybody returns anything, then they don't wanna pay us for that. They wanna deduct that before it's sent out. So they give a lo super long time before. Some retailers don't wait that long. Like if you shop through Sephora, it doesn't take that long. But a lot of other popular retailers like Nordstrom, Pat McGrath, like that takes almost six months to get cleared and sent out. But it's cool. It's cool because it's like if you start doing it, then it's a continuation. So it's not like you're just sitting here waiting on money from six months ago. Because if you started six months ago, then you have money from six months before that. So it's like a rolling thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a big deal. But it's always appreciated when y'all do it. All right, let me spray this. I feel like I need to make a video about YouTube because so many people just don't know how it works. And that's so apparent. When I when I was going through all the stuff I was going through last year, when I said, you know, support to smaller YouTubers means that it's different. And so many people were like, what? And all of us feel the same way, but not everybody's able to come on and really express that. I really feel like I need to talk about that. But okay. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, okay, wait. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh, Sharon, yes, I do. Sharon, yes, I do. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I bought these just for this. These aren't beans, but what is this called? Coffee pebbles? Because <laughs> I'm like, first of all, I'm not going to hold you. When I got to the uh, to the grocery store, I was looking at the coffee beans. Your girl got cheap. I was like, I didn't know coffee beans cost as much money. Because <laughs> I'm not a real coffee drinker. So I was like, coffee beans are this expensive? And I remember when I was younger, they used to have the little things in my grocery stores where you can get a little bit of coffee beans and just kind of fill it up as you need it. Because I don't need a lot. I just want to use it to smell. But all they have was big bags of coffee beans. And I'm like, I just want to smell it. So I'm like, Maybe Juan Valdez can come to the rescue for me for $5.99. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so y'all know I like fresh scents. And I feel like this has a really nice citrus zing to it. And it reminds me of spring, summer. And I love that so much. 
it has just a hint of orange to it. And I love orange incense. And I just realized that when I was filming this last video, I realized I really like citrus smells, but not on the nose. Like it has to have a little bit of depth there. And I feel like this right here is amazing. Okay, let me go look this up real quick. Because I need to know the notes. Because that is good. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. I can't stop smelling. I'm obsessed. So I feel like I've been talking about this for five minutes now. And it's not that expensive. Oh, I need to. Oh, that's the 30 ml. It's still not that expensive. I feel like I need to have this. Okay, hold on, y'all. Because I'm going to show y'all what it is. Mm. Oh, you know this one, Jennifer? You know this one? Y'all be knowing stuff. Like, how do y'all know stuff? Okay. So this one is Remarkable People. And it says, let's see. Okay. Effervescent citrus bubbles over a celebratory pop of champagne and a spiced heart of deviant sandalwood. It has grapefruit, champagne accord, cardamom, jasmine curry. What is curry? J-E. Black pepper, labdamum, sandalwood, and Loranox. Y'all, this does not sound like anything I would like, but I am obsessed with it. Ooh, y'all caught me adding some to my cart, didn't y'all? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be shopping, am I? <laughs> it's so good. I know this is going to smell good on me. Hey, Vicky J! Yay! Ooh, that's what my mama said. My mama bought the new Versace, and she was like, this doesn't last anything but a second on me. Mm. Ooh, ooh, everybody say, hey, Vicky J, hey. Yeah, this is some good stuff. Congrats on, yes, congrats on 5K, Vicky J. Y'all go follow my girl, Vicky J, on the internet. Ooh, I like that. Y'all, that's good. Okay, okay, let me move on. So that's a yes for me. I need to figure out what my code is, because she told me. Okay, let me see. I'm going to ask her, can I use my own code? She's going to be like, uh, no. <laughs> But I'm like, but I want to save too. I'm shopping as well. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Because I need to know this. What is my code? Um, where is it? Because I haven't even tested it. She told me she was giving me one. Well, I don't remember what it is. I'm going to try Kelsey 10 because I feel like that sounds right. See, does that work? That's it? Okay, I feel like I need to have that. All right. I'm going to ask her, can I use my own code first? All right, so let me let me move on. This is a yes. That's, that's a yes, a 100% yes. Thank you. Hey. Uh, have you ever tried the House of Creed? You need to. Chelsea girl, I know. I know. But you didn't just smell this with me. You know I have a problem with smelling good. I went to Sephora today and I wanted to I wanted to buy a fragrance. And Bradley was like, I thought you said you weren't buying any more fragrances. And I was like, I never said that. The thing that I said was I don't need to buy anymore. <laughs> All right, so let me try out mango skin. Ooh. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, because I feel like she just sent me some fire. Okay, wait a minute. Let me look up mango skin. Y'all, this smells like mangoes on skin. Oh, that's good. Okay, 50 ml or 100 ml. I would need 100. I'm just I'm just going to pretend shop right now, guys. 
slash I might buy something. Okay, so the top is blackberries. I smell that. Mangoes, black pepper. The heart is wild orris, black lotus, jasmine. And the base is patchouli, vanilla, and pink sugar. Y'all, this is sweet, but I like it. It's fruity, but it's fun, and it has a little bit of sexiness to it with that black pepper. Oh, y'all, I like this one. This is really something I wouldn't normally buy. Ooh. Wait a minute. I feel like this will smell real good and like juicy on. Like if you wanted to smell like fruit, but in, in an interesting way, mango skin just is, that's hot. I'm gonna put that over to the side for a yes as well. That's a yes for me too. Okay, I need to get my coffee beans out. Yeah, it's very sweet, but it's not cloying for sure. You did Tropical Chamor Cherimonia. I love that, Vicky J. You did such a good job picking that one out for me. Oh, I know it's gonna smell fire on you. I feel like we have similar taste in fragrance because you told me I needed to try that Killian one, boys. I didn't forget. When you go back to the CCO, if you see boys, let me know. Mango skin, that is good. Okay, wait a minute, let me go back to mango skin. Y'all, it says, have you ever really tasted one? With a single bite, you can feel the mango in your veins. Y'all, that's what that smells like. It smells like mango in your veins. Wild colors, endless skies, and untamed happiness. Breathtaking South Africa becomes the backdrop for, backdrop for this expressionist burst of blackberries, mango, and black pepper. It smells like a ripe mango, but it smells interesting. I feel like you always like... <laughs> You mean trying to tell me? You be like, Kelsey, Kelsey. <laughs> I'm not going to play with you. Stop playing. I will like it. Stop playing. <laughs> the patchouli is not strong because I don't like patchouli at all. I do not like patchouli. Um, patchouli is like something I can barely smell. It smells more like mango and the black pepper. But, okay, I got to go back to this comment. But it smells good, though. <laughs> Mango in your vein. It smells good, y'all. It's it's very sweet. But it's like a, a a sweet in a way that doesn't smell like sugar. It smells like fruit. And it's I like that. I like citrus fruit smells. Wow. That's amazing. Intoxicate. I like that one too. But not enough to not enough to buy that one. Okay, y'all. I like mango. I like the I like the mango one. <laughs> okay. Now, this one is from Montal. This one is Daydreams. And by the way, I took these from Sephora earlier. Because <laughs> I know y'all are like, where'd you get this from? I like this one, but I don't love this one. This wouldn't be one that I would purchase. Let me go to it. Well, where is it, honey? Montal, de ooh, that bottle is pretty. That bottle got me interested. Reminiscing on warm summer nights in Greece, where this, where the daylight is endless and the air evokes the scent of orange blossom, jasmine, and mandarin. That jasmine. I mean, the more it dries down, the more it's growing on me. But I still wouldn't buy a full bottle of this. Like, if I bought one, it would be the small one. I'm very interested in this brand now. Vilhine Parfumery. Okay, let me focus. See, that's how I know I'm not really into something that when I'm talking about it, I just started talking about something else. All right, so this has mandarin orange, orange blossom, jasmine. How do you say this flower? Don't come for me. TR flower, neroli, vanilla, sandalwood, and coconut. I like this. I found us a play. <laughs> Don't be quote me. <laughs> yes, I don't like patchouli, so no. Ooh, that sounds good. I had mango sushi before, it was good. <sighs> nope, nope to this one. It's not stinky, it's just, it's just no. 
it's not interesting enough for me to be like, yes, let me let me buy that. No. All right, next. Purple fig. All right, let me try this. This one. Oh, yes, this is by that same company, Wilhelm Perfumery. I might be pronouncing that all the way wrong. Ooh, that's interesting. It smells um masculine. It almost smells a little too masculine. Uh, <coughs> that's too much. That's too much, but I like the way it smells. I like the way that it smells, but I can't. <coughs> that's in my throat. I feel like I just smoked that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay, that has Sichuan pepper, Angelica seeds, Galbanum, I don't know what that is. Green fig, jasmine, absolute, that's a bear, <clears throat> and cashmere wood, y'all. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't know what, what, why, why I just had that reaction to that. Like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -mm. Uh, is it TR? <laughs> uh, ooh, TR. Mm -mm. I don't know. That was too much. I uh, maybe I sprayed spray too much. I don't know. That was just a little bit too much. Yeah, it has my throat tickling. Nope. Mm -mm. Pass on that. But I mean, it's not. It's nice. I can still smell it though, and I just threw it on the floor. So I'm gonna have to move on from that. All right, so this is one that I think is really popular. Juliet has a gun, and then at the bottom it says, mmm, mmm. Oh, I just dropped it. Okay, hold on, I hate when I drop stuff on live. If I drop something in a regular video, I can edit it out, but on live it's like, you're just dropping stuff looking sloppy and goofy, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was really masculine. It was nice, but no. I just dropped it again. Am I serious with myself? Wow. Okay. Now, okay. Juliet has a gun. Nope. Uh-uh. It doesn't stink. It's just not for me. <clears throat> Y'all, that other one still is like, is not gonna play with me today. Julia has a gun. Okay, so I think this one is too. <sighs> okay, y'all know like, I don't know. <laughs> y'all know like that scent whenever little kids used to throw up on the floor and they would come with that little sprinkle stuff and sweep it up. That's what this smells like to me. Uh-uh. Okay. I can't even smell that anymore. No. I don't like it. It's got neroli, raspberry, geranium, tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine, and then patchouli, sandalwood, and absolute. I can smell all that patchouli. That's what patchouli smells like to me. You like that one? Okay, so I don't know. We might be opposite, my girl, because I do not like that. You like it? I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. No. I don't like that smell. It's not a bad, you know how sometimes fragrances smell cheap or something like that? It don't smell like that. I just don't like that scent, you know? All right, so this one is, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's either Mancera Paris or Mancara. It's probably Mancera. And this scent is Sicily. Now, where'd Vicky go? Because <laughs> she was telling me earlier that I like smelling like um, fruit. This smells exactly like fruit. This is too much like, who? Fruit. No. Mm -mm. It smells a little too on the. Uh, fruit bowl so side. Like I smell like, it smells like you're standing right in an orange orchid. Oh, uh -uh. nope. Sparkling grapefruit. Nope, that's a no for me. 
mandarin, bergamot from Sicily, green apple, white peach, pineapple. That's too many fruits right off the top. And then it's jasmine, rose, ylang, and then violet. And then it's sandalwood from somewhere, I don't know, uh, cedarwood and, and white musk. No, 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 no. Yeah, they have a lot of different ones. Like I said, you can tell it's nice, but it's just not for Coco. All right, so this one is Micro Love. I have the, I have, um, what's it called? Gold Gasm, Peach Gasm. And I have the one, you said highlighter. So Gold Gasm and Peach Gasm. Both of them are yes, it's done. All right. All right. So Juice, is this Just Box perfume by Just Box? And it's called Micro Love. I like this, but this smells like a man's fragrance. Like it does not smell unisex at all. It smells very much so like something. And I don't say this because it smells old. I say because this is how my granddaddy smells. This smells like something he would wear. It smells fresh. Oh, this smells like my granddaddy. Um, this has ozonic accord, crisp apple, and the rolling. And then the heart is cinnamon, violet, clary sage, and the base is white cedar wood, suede, and gray amber. I want to give this to my granddaddy. Like he likes to smell modern. Like he doesn't like like the traditional old man scents. So this does not smell like a granddaddy. It just smells like my granddaddy. So it's too masculine. No. All right. Okay, that one. Okay, yes. No problem, Dawn. Okay, next. Ooh, this one is Ibiza by Raymond Monte Mon Monigo, Barcelona, 1916. Y'all, I love something with a story. They're giving me the backstory. <laughs> They're giving me the backstory, and I am here for it. Okay, let me see if I like it. It says, what fascinates me most about the island is its incredible light, the purity of its transparent waters, and an omnipresent white color which urges you like a blank canvas to create the most daring composition. White musk immersed in salt water wrapped in Mediterranean palm balsam balm in the presence of a sea of white almond flowers. Okay. Y'all, sometimes I like that. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I like that. Okay, let me go. Let me go and look at this again. <laughs> okay. Is it called Ibiza? Am I spelling it wrong? Where is it? L A I S L A. Where is it? Because I need that in my cards. Ooh, sir, I like that smell. I don't want the discovery set. Where's the actual fragrance? Neagle. Ooh, where's the big one? Which one is this one though? Okay, I'm about to find it, y'all. Y'all just wait one second. Oh, oh. This is it. I want this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Notify me when available. I'll do it later. <laughs> I need to have that. Like, this is what it smells like. Oh, I smell that ginger. That smells really interesting. It has anise, ozonic aldehydes, ginger, and cassis. And then almond blossoms, white jasmine, salty heliotrope, and then tonka bean, white musk, and patchouli. I can't smell the patchouli. I think this is really cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll tell them you say hey. <laughs> yes, I love 
backstories. I love it. He is. Yeah, it wouldn't come in up. Hey, y'all, this smells like it's okay. It smells like ginger water with a little bit of flour, with a little bit of sand in a country that I've never been to in the Mediterranean. Yep. And then I can smell a little bit of grassiness in there, but like grassy from the ocean. So imagine if you were stuck on a deserted island and you were underneath a, um, what is that thing called? What is it called? The palm trees. You're underneath the palm tree. You smell a little bit of that grassiness, but it's mixed in with sea salt. But also if for some reason pine cones were there and then at the same time, you're still smelling like the sunshine. And then also it's a garden of flowers right next to it. So this is a very, very different type scent. And it is a yes for moi. So I am putting this up there and I feel like I need to have that. Okay, so I have three more from them. All right, let me move faster because I know we already have been on here for a minute. And I don't know what y'all have to do. I don't want to hold y'all too long. All right, so this one is, it's kind of clean, but like an interesting clean. Yeah, the ginger makes it different. It is hard. So hopefully it's like my descriptions help a little bit. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so this one is vanilla. Banane, banane, y'all. I be butchering names. Okay, I got you. I butchered the names, y'all. But then I go back and I look it up and I edit it out. Let me like, honey, what these French people are not gonna do is have me. No, ma'am. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to react like that, but that was that was what it gave me. All right, so this one smells just like banana pudding, but like banana pudding that is served at a hospital. No. I'm going to smell it one more time. No. No. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. All right, let me go here. Let me, I'm gonna just tell y'all, for somebody, this is going to be something that you like. But for me, no. The top notes are banana, orange, and whipped cream. And that's ex exactly what it smells like. And then the heart notes are banana leaf and clover. And then the base notes are vanilla and rum. Mm -mm. Nope. No, no, let me, no, no, <laughs> absolutely not. All right, this one is Initio Parfums Privés, Atomic Rose. I feel like I'm gonna like this one cause y'all, I love rose. Yeah, maybe not that one, <laughs> no, nope. I don't think so, Ashley. <laughs> no. It didn't smell, it didn't smell, it didn't smell well blended. It was like some was too cloying in that. Ooh, I almost dropped it again. Okay, Atomic Rose. I like this one. I want to spray myself in this one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I need to go look this one up. This reminds me a lot of Delina. Y'all, I love Delina. But this one's, of course, it's back order. All the ones I really, really like are, are back order. Oh my God, this is good. Wait, first of all, not a usual rose fragrance. Not only the combination of Hedion, Hedion. Y'all be having to look up how to pronounce the heat on. Hold on. So I need to know how to say this. Heat on. Heat on pronunciation, please.
Who would you say how to say he say how to say it? Heady on. Okay, sorry y'all. I have to look stuff up before I continue on, so I'm not just sitting up here saying stuff wrong. So it's heady on. All right, so back to the thing. So it says, as a part of the carnal blends, Atomic Rose uses an overdose of heady on HC, a molecule which possess possesses the power to activate the regions of the brain linked to the libido and pleasure from the perfume. Ooh, I need this. It's got rose, heady on, jasmine, bergamot, pink pepper, and vanilla. That's it. That's sexy. I mean, all year round type of scents, type of scent you could throw on. Doesn't matter where you're going. That's that's amazing. I just threw it on the floor. I didn't mean to. I meant to leave it up here. Hold on. Let me get it. <laughs> Cause I need that to come up here. Cause that's top shelf. That's amazing. All right, so last one from Twisted Lily is African Leather. And I'm very excited about this one because I'm very much so into anything that says African Africa has imagery like this. I feel like I'm going to like it. All right, so let's see. African Leather. Ooh, where, where's the sprayer? I'm, I always want to make sure I'm not spraying myself in the face. Oh my gosh, I need to have, I need to have this. Oh, y'all, big bottle me please. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says how to describe a safari leather. This smells exactly like safari leather it has the oil of bergamot oil of cardamom oil of saffron oil of cumin geranium absolute oil of patchouli oil accord leather accord essence of vetiver and musk y'all this smells like a safari this is so cool because i feel like i am in africa it smells so smoky it smells like natural. It smells. It smells like Africa. I. I it, it. This is it. Oh my gosh. I love. Okay. I need to go look at my card because I really need to have this. It's kind of warm, but it's not too warm because I don't like you know like real, real, real like dark warm because on me that kind of can smell stinky. This is my number one out of all of them. If I was to buy one today, right now, it would be African leather for sure. Does that code work on all of this? <laughs> okay, let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, it does. I love this. Oh my gosh. I, I love this, y'all. Let me go back to the stream yard. Atomic Rose is amazing. Yes, yes, memo. Oh, this is it. I need this right here, right now. Right, I'm, I'm sorry, right, not now, but right now. Oh my gosh, okay, so I kept my favorite ones up here so I can rank them. This is number one for sure. African leather, love that. I'm not gonna spray it on right now because I have a few more fragrances I wanna smell from bond number nine that I have over here. But if I didn't, I'm spraying it on right now. Number two, Atomic Rose, man. That's amazing. The code is my name, Kelsey 10. Kelsey 10. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And then uh I really like I really like Ibiza. Ibiza. That's number three for sure. Number three. And then between these two, let me smell it again. Mango skin is coming in number four and then remarkable people number five but if i had to put everything back right now and just get african leather like i would be okay 
<laughs> I would be fine. Excuse me, could you move? Thank you so much. I was uh, African leather, not African skin. What am I talking about? African leather. I feel like I just, I just need to have that. I wouldn't say it's a summer scent. I just think it's like a year round personal scent. Ooh, I need to smell that. Because I really love the way the Atomic Rose smells. You can tell that the blend is beautiful. I'm so impressed. Twist, I mean, Twisted Lily, they hooked it up. I'm not going to tell y'all which full-size bottle I picked because I picked it before I was able to smell these. But if I had to go over and start over, I would get African leather sent to me from them. But I'm probably going to go ahead and get African leather because, yeah. All right. So let me get into this bond number nine box. So I bought this. This was not sent to me. This is a bonbon box and basically is a box full of samples. You can buy it from their website. So I've already opened a lot of them, but I figured it would be fun to come on here and do this with you all because like I'm really slowly dipping my foot into fragrance and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people are interested in bond number nine. Y'all have a lot of fragrances in here. And like I said, I don't want to hold y'all here all night. So I'm not going to open all of them, but I will open up some of them. Y'all let me know which ones y'all want me to spray and give my opinion on. I feel like we've been here for an hour talking about fragrances for the most part. And I think y'all kind of can get a feel for what I like. I don't like overly sweet. I don't like overly fruity. But I do enjoy a citrus fragrance. Like I said, I just discovered that about myself. I really just thought I did not like fragrance. I mean, fruity, fruity like that. Just because I only really smell one note fruity. But these high-end niche brands, the way they do fruity is more interesting than like regular fruity. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure a lot of them didn't fall to the bottom. All right. Africa, you have an old friend who lived in Minneapolis for her third, three degrees, 11 years, and then moved back to Kenya. Ooh, that sounds so amazing. This sounds like a beautiful life. Yeah, oh my gosh, the Harmonist. Yes, I want to try the Harmonist too. Oh my gosh, it is the best. The best. Twisted Lily has a lot of different scents on their website that you can just buy little samples of. And that's really important, especially for me. Like, I don't live next to a lot of luxury department stores. So most of the time, I, I blind buy fragrances. Yes. Okay. Let me find it. Off Broadway, Spring Fling, The Scent of Peace. Okay, let me let me sit these right here. I'm gonna get Tribeca out since I have a special request. New York Night. Let me sit that over here. They all come wrapped. I'll show y'all one that I haven't opened if I have one. <laughs> so in addition to the bonbon bon box, which this is what comes with it, I got to pick like five or six other um other What's the name? Samples. So I was able to really like get a good amount of them so I can stop buying them blindly because I bought so many blindly. Where is, oh, here it is. Okay. I found it. Found Tribeca for you. Okay. So that's going to be the first one that I'm going to spray for Crystal. Okay. First of all, hold on because we need to clear some things up. Because things are starting to get it's getting a little clogged. I really want to drink this. Like Juan Valdez. This smells good. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Okay, bond number nine. Okay. Tribeca. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. It smells clean and it also smells like coconut. It's giving summer, but to me, it smells kind of soft. Like almost, almost like marshmallow. <laughs> like why do I smell marshmallow? 
let me go on. Let's go on Bottle Number Nine's website. And really quickly, let me show y'all what I bought and how I bought it. Okay, let me go. Let me go to, hold on, y'all. I got you. I got y'all. Okay. Excuse me. Um, Let's see. Shop. Parfum. How did I find it? Okay, so here's what I did. Let me go and, sh and share my screen so I show y'all what I'm doing. Because I had to figure out, like, what to do. <laughs> okay. So if you go on the Bond Number 9 site, y'all see up here in the upper right-hand corner, it's an enter a search term box. So type in Bon Bon, B-O-N, B-O-N. You can buy the Grand Bon Bon box. That one is sold out. It's $430 and you get 30 vials of seven milliliter fragrances. And that sounded amazing, but I just felt like I didn't need to have that because this is like super big sizes of them. And I was buying them to figure out which ones I wanted to buy because I like full sizes. So for me, I just got the regular bomb bomb box. Dang, this one sold out too. Um, this one is $290. For 126 milliliter. But then you also can type in sample, I think. Yeah. Where is that? Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is what I did. Oh, you know what, y'all? I did not even get a bonbon box. I'm lying. I got the sample. This is what I got right here. $85 and you get 18 of the little sample ones. And so it's you don't get anything with it. There's no card or anything like that to get any extra off. But you can smell all the ones that you want on your own terms. Nobody's going to be standing over you trying to show you stuff. And for me, that's really important because that way I can really get time to smell it on my own, spray it, wear it a few times. And then if you add it to your cart, you know, when you go to check out, you can get all, you can pick samples. Like you can pick, I want to say three or four samples, y'all. So all the ones that don't come in the sample thing, you can pick it, or you, you can get three complimentary samples. You can pick what you want, and you can test out more. Or if you know you like Tribeca, then you can get an extra one of those. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tribeca is definitely summer soft. <laughs> Shout out. Thumbs up. Perfume definitely has a shelf life, for sure. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. Okay, so let me go to Tribeca. Tribeca. All right, so I really like this one, y'all. It smells really good. I cannot pick up the notes. I I forget how to pronounce this every single time. Cacao, I want to say absolute green hazelnut, jasmine, sandbox, absolute, cedarwood, ambroxan, moss, and caramel. It's a little sweet. And that caramel probably is like that marshmallow that I think. But it's good. I would buy it. I would definitely buy this for sure. This is just enough sweetness for me. So if you're a sweet person and you like stuff that's kind of sweet to her, that's good. But it's not like annoyingly sweet. You know, like Killian, don't be shy. That's too, that's too sweet to me. But you know what? I really like it. All right, so like I said, I have a lot of them. I have like 30. We're not going to do all of that. But I do want to spray a few more because I have fun doing this. Okay, so this one is O D Day New York. Okay, I haven't even sprayed this one. Nope. Nope. No, 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 but it's in a really pretty, look at that Savorsky crystal bottle, but then also, here's this one, <clears throat> y'all, Burger might be killing me out here, no, okay, this one has bergamot, mandarin, grapefruit, petit grain leaves, Green watery accord neroli gardenia. Now I hate gardenia. Literally 
hate it. If anything has a strong presence of gardenia, you count me out. No. I'm just going to move on from that one because I really just did not enjoy it a lot. And I don't have that reaction to a lot of their scents. But that one, that was the first one I ever felt like that from them about. Let me go. Let me try Sag Harbor. Shout out to my people from New York, too. The fact that you all can have an entire line of fragrances and it's just different. It's different. Oh, it's bergamot. It's the first one. Should I even do it to myself? All right, I'll do it to myself and then I'll spray coffee. I mean, smell coffee. I don't like that. I don't feel the same way about this one. Not like the last one. But to me, this smells like this smells like household cleaner. Uh-uh. I don't like that. That smells like cleaner. I don't like that. Let me figure out what I want. I'm gonna put the ones I don't like in here. No. All right. So I heard somebody, I said heard, but I read that somebody wanted me to test Greenwich Village. So let's test that one. Because that one is real popular. I like Greenwich Village. I'm not even going to like leave you in suspense because I actually have a bottle of this one already. <laughs> it smells like candy. It's very sweet. It reminds me a little bit of Baccarat, but not all the way. And I see where people make that comparison, but this one is way sweeter, way more, I don't know, way more almost like innocent, kind of like Kind of like kidsy, but it's not a kid's perfume. I don't want y'all to feel like it's for kids, but it definitely smells sweet like candy. Ooh, I saw that one. Yes, the sample packs are a great deal. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to know I'm not alone in my gardenia hate. <laughs> okay, I don't like tea. I'm like the only person from the South that does not like tea. I don't like hot tea, sweet tea, strained tea. Pineapple tea, peach tea, I don't want tea. People be like, well, you haven't had my tea. I'm like, I just don't like the way it tastes. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Hey. Yeah, it's giving very much so pine song. That's the smell of clean. Yeah. Mm -mm. It kind of gives that. It's not all the way there. Just a little bit. That's a long time. You live right there. Yeah. Yes. This I agree with that. I agree with that. It's completely different. Ooh, my girl. Okay, let's let's try a few more. All right, so in my hands, I have Off Broadway, The Sense of Peace, Spring Fling, and New York Nights. Let's try The Sense of Peace real quick because I know this one is one that is pretty iconic. Okay. This one is, is one for me. Love it. I love it. Okay, let me go. Let me look this up. I want to say I have purchased this before. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't know why I keep seeing the sense of peace and then it's like package free. Does that mean like it's cheaper or something? What y'all doing out here? Oh, no. Uh, I don't understand what would the difference be. Oh, sustainability. Got it. Got it. So it's not supposed to be anything that saves you anything. It's supposed to save the earth. That matters. That matters. All right. All right. I'm not mad. Let me go to the other sense of peace. Dang, I, I hate when I'm typing too fast and I do that. I love the purple bottle, so I want this one anyway. Ooh, I, I love this, y'all. It has grapefruit, black currants, lily of the valley, heady on, cedarwood, and musk. What is he out here doing? He just laying down like on a date with it or something? Oh. Uh <laughs> First of all, I really want to spray this on. <laughs> like, I love this. Thank you. Thank y'all. 
more ecological in terms of packaging, but you pay more to get it that way. Ooh. I'm not mad at it. If, if it were my favorite fragrance of all time, I would buy the crystal version and then just constantly get it refilled. If I'm if it's not my favorite version of all time, then you can catch me on the flip side. So go on, go in the search, type in sample. You're not gonna just see it. You have to type it in. They're so pretty. Thank you. I love that. That's a love for me. Out of all of them, I love that one more than I love Greenwich Village. And I love that one more than I love Tribeca. Now, I bought Greenwich Village as a blind buy. So if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have bought the largest size of that just because I do like it, but I don't love it. But I'm happy I have it. I like it. All right. So y'all want spring fling? Let me see what else is in this box over here. So this one is F-I-D-I. How do you say that, Fiddy? <laughs> Y'all are probably reading me for Phil. So, my New York, Chez Bond. The sense of peace for him. Um, I guess I could spray it if y'all want me to. Lafayette, Lafayette Street, Wall Street, Madison Ave. Bond of Nine Perfume, the signature scent. I've had that one before. Gold Coast and Nolita. So what y'all trying to get me to smell next? I have one in my, um, in my fragrance wardrobe. <laughs> I personally don't love them, but my boyfriend likes them. So I bought one to wear around him. I don't love them. They're cool though. Is it fitting? Fitting? Like, fit isn't? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I'm going to spray spring flame while we're waiting on the consensus. It's giving me floral bouquet, but it's a little green. I like it. Spring fling. I don't see myself buying it, though. Wait a minute. I spoke too soon. I would buy it because of this bottle. <laughs> I would definitely buy it to have this bottle. I love that bottle. Okay, so this has Lily of the Valley, <laughs> Passion Flower, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, Freesia, Amber, and Musk. It smells very feminine, really pretty, but it to me is not unique enough. But I like it. I wish it were a little bit more interesting. But like I said, I'm going to be 100 with y'all. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know I like pretty stuff. I think it looks pretty. I would buy it for the bottle. That would be something I would do. Maybe I can get it for sale, on sale. Because it's not like I just feel like, oh my gosh, that's my signature scent or anything like that. But I like the way it smells. Okay. New York Nights. This smells like nail polish remover. See, I don't know if this is what it really smells like or is this bad? Because this smells like nail polish remover. Uh-uh. Acetone. Oh, I, it, it's, I can't even talk. It's drying down. Oh, that's why I don't like it. Number two, gardenia. Let me just throw that on the ground. Absolutely not. Number four, patchouli. We're done. <laughs> No, no, absolutely not. Actually, let me get my coffee beans on that one. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. No, I want the fragrance inside, Sharon. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's giving me nail polish remover. Yeah, no. Mind you, y'all, these are my interpretations. Somebody's like, that smells amazing. <laughs> but just not to me. Okay, so this one is off Broadway. I love Broadway. I like it. I mean, it doesn't smell like me, though. It does not smell like me at all. 
But if somebody were wearing this around me, I would probably tell them they smell good. And they smell good. It has grapefruit blossom. They like grapefruit, don't they? Black currant, lily, osmanthus, nutmeg, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, and vetiver. It smells kind of musky. It smells like off Broadway. It's very dramatic. Very dramatic. It's not me though. But I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I wouldn't buy it. Yes. I only know this song because I used to watch that movie when I was little. You know who I am. <laughs> but Ashley, I literally have bought like 10 pair of sunglasses since then. So I, I'm going to be honest, I have not worn them like that. But I love, I love that style. I already had a pair in that same shape, same style. I had the tortoise ones. And then when they reached out to me to get the black, or they told me I could have whichever ones I wanted. I immediately made a beeline to get the black ones. I don't really care for musk either. Sharon, I think we are nose twins. I think we're nose twins. All right. Are y'all done? Do y'all want to keep going or do y'all want to be done? Let me know. Because I think we could stop if y'all like, or we could keep going if y'all like to. Y'all let me know. I'm going to plug up my computer. Just let a girl know. Let me get my, my charger. I wish I could like talk back to y'all because sometimes when you're going live, it's like, I know reading it is fun, but it's like interacting and going off of energy <laughs> is different. Yep, I have more. I have more. If y'all want to keep going, I keep going. Like I said, I still, I'm, I'm good. I just don't want y'all to be like, we've been here. All right, we spread. We can. This is how many more I have left. Like ten, nine, something like that. Ooh. Um. Off topic questions. <laughs> my favorite. All right. <laughs> my favorite brush for bronzer. The time for a bronzer brush, the original natural hair one. Okay, I'm gonna be realistic. If I don't know what to recommend now because I didn't know that the Kazan brushes were that difficult to get. Let me come back to you. I'm gonna have to come back. That's a hard one for me. Let me come back. <laughs> Yes, it's always more fun, like, if you're on here, like, cracking up with somebody. <laughs> always so fun. I'll see you later. Love you back. Talk to you later. Okay. Amber. Yeah, I'm not an amber girl either. The warm sense is just, uh. All right. Madison Avenue. It's very pink, isn't it? I have to make sure I didn't already use that one. Okay. paint that's very pretty very pretty this smells like somebody's wedding scent this won't be my wedding scent just because it's too pretty it has no edge oh very pretty scent um no nah. <laughs> angie we need to just all roll up collectively and beat somebody up because at first when we first logged on I was having technical difficulties because right up right up front I had like 60 of y'all join real quick and then my internet stopped working and then it didn't notify everybody to come back so I'm happy that y'all are here but I mean I feel like more people would be here because more people didn't get notified Ugh. hey yeah, it would be a good mixer. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is a wedding floral. 
I was trying to get to it on the page. Okay, hold on. Let me go to the bond page and look up, look up the notes. I almost don't even have to. The notes are pretty pink flower. That's it. All right, let me share my screen again. Um, yeah, it's not me at all. It's too cute. Apple, bergamot essence, black currant, rose essence, jasmine, magnolia ex essence, patchouli essence, and broxen and praline. Are they standing in front of a bridal store? No. <laughs> These people look like they have an amazing time working there. It says woody mossy. I don't smell woody. I don't smell that. To me, it just smells pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to throw that one down. No. No to that one. Too 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 cute. Too no. All right. Nolita. All right. First of all, this don't smell like how Nolita smells in the in the um in the big size. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you that I love Nolita. <laughs> First of all, I wanted to love it regardless if I even liked it anyways. I wish I bought this one with the Savorsky crystal, but I bought this one. But I wish I can go back and buy this one. <laughs> Especially because it didn't even cost that much more than that one. All right, so this one says it's a ladylike classic freesia paired with the unexpected wake up of tangerine. It's so different smelling. It has tangerine, freesia, lilies, rose, jasmine, sunbox, I think soft amber, musk, and sandalwood. And it smells so freaking good on me. That's it. This reminds me of, I don't know. I might be thinking it reminds me of lipstick because it has lips on there. But to me, it just reminds me like of lipstick. <laughs> I love this scent. It is so good. Ugh, I bought I bought that one, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. It's, it's good. Very good. Extremely good. All right, so this one is the Bond Number no. 9 Signature Scent. I love this. This one is my first. No, it's my second. Bond number nine fragrance that I bought in my life. I love this. It just smells like money. It's kind of woodsy. It's kind of floral. It's got oud extract, but it doesn't smell like that strong, musky oud. It's got rose, tonka beans, and musk, but it still smells light on top of that. It just smells good. It smells really good on the skin, and it does not smell really warm, even though the notes would have you think that it would. You are completely allowed to smell like whatever you want, Angie. I'll still love you anyways. You just can't ride in the car with me with it. <laughs> Girl, you get in my car with some gardenia, I'll be like, yep, you're going to have to drive. <laughs> okay, let me smell... Gold Coast. But to me, the signature scent smells like Bond. Like, that is what you smell when you walk into any Bond number nine counter, store, whatever. That's what it smells like. It smells so good. And I don't like all oops. Some of it is too strong. Like I bought a Louis Vuitton rose scent and it has that oud. It's, it's so strong. Like I can't even spray it directly on myself. I have to smell it. I have to spray it in the air and walk into it because it's too much. The signature scent doesn't smell like that. It's very fresh. All right, so let's do, wait, let me let me clear my nose because it's getting a little congested in here. Whew. All right, let's do Gold Coast. I like it. It smells like something I know, but I don't know what it smells like. Y'all ever get like that where you, it reminds you of something, but you have no idea? Like, what is that smell? Like, what is, what is that? I don't know. It's cool. 
Okay, so it has the lychee, apricot, red apple, rose essence, watermelon, rose absolute, cedarwood essence, vanilla, and musk. I would buy this. I think it would smell good for summertime. I would buy this. I like it. It smells really good. Fresh, fresh, fresh. It smells good. And I mean, it smells kind of fruity, but also it smells, it smells kind of like outside. <laughs> like it, it doesn't smell directly like fruit, if that makes sense. Like I can tell it has the lychee and the apricot and the apple. I don't smell watermelon at all, but I smell a little bit of rosy. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes, Sharon, I've heard that so many times, but it reminds me of something. I have no idea what that memory is, but I like it. I like it. Ooh, that would be good. I would like to take a course like that, too. Yes, the signature sentence is good. Ooh, okay. This one is Wall Street. I expect this one to smell really stuffy. <laughs> wow. That smells like a power, powerhouse person who's on Wall Street. That is really strong. It reminds me of fragrances from when I was younger. It's loud. Whoever has this on wants to be seen. They want to be heard. This is somebody who has a $10,000 briefcase on, immaculate shoes, a press suit, somebody that is like the person in charge of I don't know, like a billion dollar company. This is really, 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 really businessy like, but like splashy businessy like. So definitely Wall Street. It has notes of sea kale, cucumber, lavender, ambergris, and vetiver. I wouldn't wear this at all. This smells like a dude. It kind of smells like, y'all know, um, what is the name of that uh, green soap? Irish Spring, a little bit, is giving me that with a little bit of zest, with a little bit of like X, but make it expensive. So it's not cheap or anything like that. It's a very fresh smelling scent, but it smells like somebody powerful would be wearing it. This doesn't smell like a college boy is gonna wear this to a frat party, like not that kind. So, but I wouldn't wear it. Y'all know I like fresh scents. And that one to me smells a little too masculine. Right. Hopefully not. I feel like you I feel like you need that. Yeah. Oh, it's not that. I love Creed Green Irish Sweet too. I wear that one. No, it's not that. This one is more this one is even more masculine. And I know Green Irish Sweet is masculine, but on me, when I get it on my body, the way it mixes with, mixes with my body chemistry, it just smells fresh. It doesn't smell like I'm wearing my boyfriend's or cologne or excuse me, scent. Okay, Lafayette Street. I'm glad y'all were liking this because I thought maybe it would be a little boring, but I was like, I'm not going to smell all of them, but y'all seem like y'all like it. I like doing it too. How do you spell like my history? There we go. I like this one too, but it also smells like a guy. I wouldn't wear this. It's, uh, the scent is a smooth, ultra male oriental. How do you say this word? Fugin? No. Well, I might wear this one. I take it back. Now that it's drying down, I do like it. Bergamot, coriander, fresh floral, and broxen. Palm, vanilla, dry wood, tonka bean, and gray amber. It smells cool. It smells different. Mm, 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 mm. I like it. I will wear this out, though. This smells like nighttime. Maybe. What would I be doing? I wouldn't wear this to the club. It's in the club scent. This is like nighttime house partying. I don't know. I like it. it but it's kind of masculine. It's kind of strong. One spray. 
Chez Bond. I hope I'm not mispronouncing stuff too much. No. I, I don't dislike it. I just don't want to wear it. Let me go look up. Mm. So this one, sparkling citrus tones, leafy greens, herbal tea accord, violet leaves, vetiver, cedarwood, and sandalwood. Y'all, based on the, the description and the notes, I would buy this just, I would probably buy this blindly because those are all the notes that I like. But why don't I want to wear it? Nope, I don't want to wear it. It's too strong. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Ooh, come on, 80s. No. No. It smells like a guy. Again, it smells too it smells too masculine. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Let me block somebody. Because I don't know who they are or where they came from, but I don't think so. Right? It can be it can go wrong real quick. Okay. I'll ask her that she wanna do one soon. Ooh. Oh that is so cool. That is so cool that our mind remembers stuff like that, like subconsciously. That is so cool. Y'all, I have three more. The scent of peace for him. I actually like. I actually don't want to smell any more for him. <laughs> this one I haven't opened. This is what it comes looking like. It looks like candy. So do not leave this around babies. <laughs> because I can see this going horribly wrong. Yes, Sharon. I do. I can't do. I always forget. I'm so sorry. I literally have the worst memory. And I can't do it on um, StreamYard. I have to do it on YouTube. Can you leave a comment on this video immediately after the video? And then I'll do it as soon as we're done. So I'm so sorry. I forgot to do it the last time. Ugh. I like the centerpiece, period. This smells like for him, though. I would get the one for her. For me, with Bond, their stuff that's supposed to be for him smells like it's for him. Not in a unisex way like Creed. Creed, I have more of the men's fragrances than I do the women's. I only have one women. Or no, I have two. And then I, no, I have three. And I have like five or six of the ones that are the men's. Okay, let me do this. This one is My New York. Ooh, I like that. Let me go to it. My New York. Where is it? Where are you? I think because I put an L instead of a K. Like, don't be fussy. I like this one. Ginger, pink pepper, LME, rose absolute, rose essence, papayas, cashmere, sandalwood, and patchouli. I like this. It's very, it's very sexy, kind of spicy a little bit. It smells good. <clears throat> it's getting in my throat a little bit though. Ooh. I like that. It's very fresh. It's fresh and sexy. Yeah. I will wear this every day. Just one little, one little spritz. And I will be good to go with that. I like my New York. Okay, did I smell fitty or F-I-D-I? Fitty? Fide? <laughs> no. No, it don't stink, y'all. Uh, but it smells. It smells. Uh, I feel like I'm uh, repeating myself. It smells too much like a guy. It smells like this guy right here. 
He wears this. It smells like him. Like a guy's guy. Madagascar, star, black pepper, bergamot, mandarin, nutmeg, lotus flower, cedarwood, essence, vanilla, and musk. This doesn't have any, any DNA of femininity in it. And to me, it's, it wouldn't smell good on me. Oh, oh, mm -mm. No. Okay. Ooh, y'all, we're done smelling all the fragrances. Woo! Okay. Yeah, I wonder who that's too, Sharon. I'll have to look up a little bit more. Yeah, very specific. <coughs> this is making me cough. <coughs> y'all, I like doing this. But thank God, it is really, really strong. Woo! Okay. So let me do a recap of some of the ones that I would buy a full size of, of the bond. Sense of Peace, I already bought Greenwich Village, Tribeca. Uh, Gold Coast. I bought Nolita. Mm. Let's see. Where is this? What's the name of this? What is the name? Oh, the signature scents. And that's pretty much it. So these four. That's what I would buy. And then absolutely, I need to have African Violet ASAP. And I absolutely would like to have Atomic Rose ASAP. And I really, really like Mango Skin. But I don't need to have it right now. But I absolutely do like it. So, which one am I going to spray on myself right now? I'm going to spray the sense of peace because I am peaceful. Now I have a headache. Thank you for thinking about me, though. Thank you. Some bottles are so beautiful. Killing's angel shit. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that whole line. What was your favorite of the ones I tested this evening? 100% African leather. When I smelled this, it was going down. Ooh, I like that smell. But I don't want to smell like that right now. Like, it's like intentional. Like, you put that on and you mean business. It's very seductive. It's warm. It smells like incense. It smells like smoke. It smells like Africa. I love that. But it's kind of rich. And for me, on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to keep it a light, on a lighter tone. And that's why the scent of peace will be like every day for me. It's so good. So let's see. Y'all tell me some of y'all's favorite fragrances down below. You have Irish leather. Is that from the same house? I've never tried anything from them. I really like the African leather. Dang. Um. Let me know some of y'all's fa favorite fragrances down below. Let me know, did you all pick up anything from Sephora? Like a little sneak add-in like I did. Thank y'all so much for shopping my links. I do not come on live just so y'all can shop my links. I just provide them so you all can if you choose to. Um, But I appreciate anybody who does. Going forward do you all want more perfume content because i can incorporate more of that into my daily videos or weekly videos but it's not going to come from a place of a professional standpoint just because i'm not as well versed in fragrance as i am in makeup and i can't speak to fragrance the same way that i can with makeup like a lot of ingredients like when i buy a fragrance it's my first time hearing of it Versus makeup, I know makeup like in and out, back of my hand. I know makeup. Fragrance, I know what I like. I know what I don't like. And other than that, I don't just readily know all the different scents and scent profiles and what this means. And if it mixes like that, I have to kind of smell it. So with that being said, my fragrance content would be kind of more lighthearted me talking about my experiences with it. So let me know if you all like it. I can do it. 
Twisted Lily is the bomb. They sent all this, all these tests. I need to get that African leather. I'm so glad they sent them. But, you know, even if you're not ever going to work with them on a personal level, they have so many samples on their website. You can go on there and you buy your own samples. And that's better because you can go on there and buy a sample for like five bucks, test it out. And if you don't like it, what's five bucks versus paying $300 for these fragrances that are niche that you may not be able to, you know, get your hands on first. So this is an excellent service that they that they have with all those samples that they have. And it's an excellent site to buy your luxury fragrances from. And I have a code too, Kelsey10. Yes, yes. I, like I said, I have I have a fragrance haul coming up, like a spring fragrance haul, where I'm going to be talking about the fragrances I picked up for spring. But that's going to be just like a regular video. So y'all will get the notification, her, hopefully. Okay. Pam Jordan, yes, Pam. Pam has a killer House of Siage fragrance collection. And I'll be like, dang, I don't know Dr. Rose, so I'll have to go check her out. But that's amazing. I will definitely go watch more. Okay, you know, I will do it. Yes, Shar Shar. Y'all, I'm like on the fence if I should buy more of the Charlotte powders because this is mine right now. Like I said, I don't need it, but it's 15% off, and mine does have a hole in there. I'm like, should I just go ahead and do it? Can y'all see that big dip? <sighs> I might go ahead and do it, Shar Shar. So I try, I worked with Scentbird, and I still recommend it. I think it's a cool service to have, especially if you like luxury fragrances because they have a lot of them on there. And you could just constantly get like super big, not portions, but testers. Yes. So that's it. Okay, let me run something by y'all real quick and then I'm gonna let y'all go. So next week, probably Thursday or Friday, I wanna do wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me not make plans beforehand. So next week, possibly Friday. Let me just keep y'all posted on the day because I, I might have another um, engagement plan online that day. But hopefully, I would like to start a segment where I bring you all on screen and it could be like an Ask Kelsey type segment and you can ask like any questions you want and I'll give everybody a chance to maybe ask one question or something like that. Or it could be like an organized with me type thing. And, you know, we could just kind of like hang out and I can get to know y'all more on screen. Would anybody be open to coming on screen? I haven't really fleshed out all the details, but I just think that's something that would be cool. Are you all into it? Let me know. Let me know down below. But uh, if you all have made it to the end of this video, you are a real one because we have been on here for almost two hours. And honestly, it's been longer than that because we started over twice. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight on Friday night. I hope everybody's having a great night. Okay, y'all are into it. Okay, okay, okay. Angie's here for it. Lindsay's here for it. Oh, oh, I got to figure out how to say your name, boo. Yes. Okay. Sharon said possibly. Okay. Now, it's not going to be like a like a one-on-one -on -one lesson or anything like that because I still do Kel Bell University, but it'll be kind of like a QA. and a You can come on and ask me, you know, if you want to ask me something that's not presented to makeup, feel free to do that. That could be the topic of the night. Or if, you, you know, if we want to keep it on makeup, we can, you know, so it could just be fun. I think it'll be fun. It'll be interactive. So let me know if y'all are into, into that. Y'all are into that. Okay. So I'm going to make a post on my community board asking for people to sign up. I don't know who I was going to sign up. The thing with my community board is sometimes it pushes it out to pretty much all y'all and all of y'all get the information or sometimes it's, it seems like only five people see it. So um, keep your eyes peeled for my community board. And also I post updates on sales and stuff like that on the community board just so you all don't miss out. And what I've been doing now is posting it on Instagram for y'all to miss out. So 
I'm not gonna hold y'all anymore tonight. I hope that you all have a fabulous night, a fabulous weekend. Enjoy your weekend. And ooh, well, come on on there, Sharon. So I will talk to y'all later. And I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and smelling fragrances, even though y'all can't smell with me. It's fun. And thank you so much if you're watching this on the replay. So fun. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Smooches. Good night.